Good morning, Internet. I love it when the camp coffee's brewing. So, looky there. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Look at my beard. That's a morning beard. I got crazy. I got bed hair. Only It's only a beard. What else? Let's see what the temperature is today. Let's do the weather. All right. Outside, 39. 39 degrees. Inside, 59. Well, let's think about you get used to <laughs> the cold it doesn't feel cold when it's 39 out there and then at 59 in here feels really good it feels like I could survive zero zero hyperthermia chance here so today uh, or I'm gonna show you the treasures we found in, in round top so uh, I've got a couple of doors it's cool stuff we'll talk about how I'm gonna do that and uh, so this is just the intro to the day it's, Hank's already fed, so uh, seven, what, seven twenty or so today. So, good morning to everybody and uh, happy midweek, I guess. We should get one of the air. Oh, air we'll streams. get some of the air streams as I'll well. So, <clears throat> this is the outside of the uh, door store, and uh, I just want to get a feeling of the size. Uh, my God, it's it's. Uh, couple of hundred feet down and then a couple of hundred feet over so and there's all these this is the outside but the inside gets even more exotic uh, when we asked the owner about this he said the come um, from all over in the Mediterranean area Spain uh, Ethiopia Turkey yeah. India um, and then all the way over to Malaysia so the whole South Central uh, uh, equatorial region, I guess. But all kinds. Look, somebody bought some doors. <laughs> so I, I bought some doors I'm going to use for walls. And, uh, you know, if you go to Home Depot, uh, you know, there's $4.95 for a finished door. But <clears throat> honestly, at Home Depot, you're dealing with the same price and without the character. All right. All right. The other thing we had debated doing is uh, you could actually build a, a really cool barn out of some of these. And we'll show later on they have one that's $12,000, but it's a full end cap, probably a 20 by 10. Some of these are huge. These, here I am, let me let me show you. Here I am, I'm 6'1". Right, I mean, that's, that's every bit of 15 foot tall. That door, none of these doors are, are Leah, be my model, walk up there. Leah's a seven foot tall Amazon woman. <laughs> no, she's not. She's a little little mini. But look, all hand carved uh, tropical hardwoods. These doors will last another couple of centuries at least, you know, especially with the linseed. So I've seen a lot of these handles repeated. So this will be a, a regular panel. But um, the, the decorative parts of it are different. Uh, all of them are different. Some of them have the hardware on them. And oh, and then uh, a bunch of them stained glass. And you know you would tip that open to air your... That's how they used to be in old farms, you know. You'd tip the window open. There's some that are probably 15 foot tall right there. So, again, a statement wall. More than doors. Some of these aren't probably aren't structurally ready for doors, but most of them are. Did they buy it? The one that I said you could turn into a... Oh no, that's not... That's a one. Yeah, somebody bought this. Maybe the gal that was looking at him looked at stained glass. What a great deal. And they have all kinds of architectural little things around here like that. And I bet you if you were willing to wheel and deal, you could get some of these old cars that are in here. Giant chandeliers. I bet you everything in this place is for sale. And this one's... Is this wood or metal? I mean, uh, there's metal inlays, but no, nope, it's wood. And look, it's what do they call these when they're round like that? Uh, lunar moon 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 portals, right? It's fourteen thousand for that. But what a statement, right? What a statement. Let's go po poke around inside of an old airstream. This is the tiny one. It's, it's a tiny one. The other one was over on the other side. Yeah, see, look, it has the door. Bunch of old Airstreams. Oh, no, it doesn't. I don't know yeah. if I... It's, I've got the flash on. Let's see. There we go. I could turn on a light. 
They have a shower. All right. This is just so cute. So cute. When were these built? You think sixties? Yes. That's a full toilet. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, look at the the uh, birch birch plywood full of walls. This one's ready for full restore. How fun! Some more doors. Uh, I just love this this door. Uh, there's a 3500 on that. But uh, look at that pattern. Yeah, uh, was that made in Michigan? Uh, Bar Baroda, Michigan. 1750 for that door. I don't know where Baroda, Michigan is, but and I'm a Michigan boy. <laughs> Just and so many matches, you know. Look at this little baby door. How fun is that? And it's still big too. Like a little closet. That would be like a magical closet. Somebody who wanted to make a little closet where the kids could step into it. Yes, How, cute. Like that, like How cute. How cute. All right, I'm going to hit pause. There's a, I could do an hour-long video in here on one door, and there's thousands of them. I wonder how many doors they have, Lee. I bet you a thousand is the right number. Mm -hmm. The tag on this is 86. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at this one, it's got the Star of David on it. So there's all kinds of iconery inside of these uh, ones. And I saw one of those on the other side with the sun yeah. through, and it was just really pretty. So here's a section where they laid out a bunch of matching panels, and... Uh, every bit of 40 feet of just those doors and then around is a different kind of style again every bit of 40 feet uh, those it's all kinds of things again a little diminutive that's a window box is what that is it's not a door wonder if the other one was a door actually there's some old carp hoods back in there cut out here's a good idea they use with the decorative doors look they hung them on the barn why don't your barn just pop just sizzle you know with these antique and again they're they're gonna be uh tropical right uh wood so they're gonna last for forever uh, everything there's a whole whole nother everything back here leah <laughs> that's a, it, could, it never ends holy moly round top texas this is a real treat my eyes are just so happy I know, I know. Okay, and those slipstreams probably are for sale, not for Airstream. Oh, that one has new tags on it. 1920s? Yeah, Leah found this door, Art Deco. This is too cool. I agree, and that's that's welded metal. And that's wood. This, this thing's an amazing bit of art. Amazing, and look at just a whole hallway of doors. Old door after door after door after door. $93 on that. That's nothing. $2,900 on this one. But again, this real cool Malaysian vibe on there. You know, that looks like the Om symbol, right? From uh, prayer. But I don't know if it is or not. Wow. How f you could get lost in these doors. <laughs> There's all kinds of little door tunnels and door. It just really I I want to build a whole house out of these doors. <laughs> I do. I want to buy them all and to just build this magical little house of, of of door panels. I'm sure it wouldn't be as good as is <laughs> what I'm envisioning. That maybe doors. Everybody takes pictures of doors and stairs. Cause that has some meaning to us, yeah, right? Really, we really yeah. do. There's a spiritual meaning to yeah. passing through any any little. Uh, room of your house into the next room <laughs> we like the beads that hang down let me rotate back just uh, another hallway so right there is where we bought the uh the sink um sconces i'm gonna call them the end caps and we think it came out of a fire is what we think and then there's one one of our little doors left that one had a little flaw on it i decided mm -hmm. and i'm only building into a connex so i don't really have room for uh, for that last one so but if i if i get the the bug i can come back and shop again so this was my idea on this one uh, if you were building a, a shed why not start with that and what was it twelve thousand or fourteen thousand twelve thousand right why not start with that 
do a post built sh a shed and a rounded metal roof like we saw where they just bent yeah, the corrugation yeah. over and, and okay. you're done you're done uh, you can't go to home depot and buy anything like that nothing like that for that price 17 17 5 yeah but still what a statement piece on your property that would be I don't remember the name of this artist. This could be a, a, a knockoff, but look, Gratitude, this is too cool. And it's next to an old, what, Chevelle or something. I don't know what that is, Leah. Plymouth is my guess. Antiques. Antiques and vintage, it says on it. How oh, cool. Oh, that's for their customers to sit, probably, huh? A little gargoyle. Look at the weird, weird little statue thing. Oh, look at those doors. Oh, little doors. Yeah, that's, uh, see, that's what I'm going to do with mine, only in the bathrooms. But yeah, those are little angled ones. Kind of cool. you get an example of how to set up a little... A little whatever, outdoor sitting spot. Big doors. Oh, there's another big door right there. Oh, look at that. Look at, oh my gosh, look at the top on that one. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, that's my favorite. I agree, I agree. Hey, there's that pattern again, Leah, for shutters. These are kind of cool um, iron gates. I've never seen something that's an inch mm -hmm. thick for iron gates. I mean, these are, uh, man, they would last, those would last a thousand years uh, once oh, you yeah. preserved them. So uh, we're going over here. I'm assuming this is all for sale. Yeah, see? I just bought one of those to do that, oh, in fact. Yeah. How, and look, all over here. They didn't pay what I did, I bet you. I bet you they paid twenty dollars a piece and they made this walkway out of it. These that's a see, that was my idea, Leah. Yeah. Some airstreams. Did they let you in that one? Or is it occupied are these out you know, they might rent these out. There might be human beings in these. Yeah, no, these might be bed and breakfast, weird little, or during the, uh, during the, uh, twice a year, they're actually using them for vendors that come from out of town. We might be imposing on somebody's house. <laughs> not, not knowing. Oh my gosh, there's, there's the several more there. When I was little. Yeah, they do. Well, Those do eat you. Very All right, so we saw two vendors out of a uh, hundred vendors. <laughs> And we went well, well over an hour. And uh, as you could see, the creative juices uh, would just never stop, you know. But the ability to build a high-end, uh, thousand-year home, starting with uh, uh, tropical uh, dimensional lumber that's cut old-fashioned, two-inch being two-inch and four-inch being four-inch, that's where you start, right? And then your stuff lasts forever. Even these gates, they're all one-inch. Oh, the doom buggy on that. <laughs> and on top of it, there's loads of fun stuff to see here as well. So uh, I want to enjoy the moment. So I'm going to ask you to like, subscribe, follow me along. I'm lonely. This is why I'm out here. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm lonely. Nobody likes me. And so <laughs> like, subscribe, follow me along. This is Steve, a thousand year home. So in my great halls uh, it, for my Spanish myths and home, there's a, all different kinds of old patterns. Ones. Yeah. And this one actually makes this. Oh, well, they probably all make a pattern of some sort or another, right? Four of them together would make a floral. I imagine they'd all. Yeah. But I, I, I don't mind the mixed media. I would try to set some things aside to make some stuff. Oh, but look at um, this one. Right. Okay, when I do the little bathroom oh, for for that. sure, we, I need to come and do these for the little bathroom. Well, this is a pretty flower design. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They've got something propped up there like it'd be a price tag. Nope, it's not. It's just a demonstration of that. Well, we can ask them. No, the that. bathroom. When I do the bathroom, I'm going to come yeah. back here and I'm going to buy some tiles. Because uh, even if they were three bucks a piece, I could afford that. I don't want to pay five dollars a piece, but uh, I think these are the prettiest. But if I could buy a whole pallet, <clears throat> I'd bring my trailer. I might ask her before I leave I what a pi pallet of these uh, clay tiles would be. 
all right, I got a great deal on tile, I tell you. I'm 100 year old French tile. Uh, gonna go into the bathroom. This young man's putting that in there. I get one of those brick pallets. That brick pallet alone is 125 bucks. He's gonna put it right on top. Be there. I think you're doing good. There's the pattern. He's gonna back out and come back in straight. Just really something. I love that pattern. This is a pattern, right, Leah? Yeah. You got the right bricks. We're just sitting. If you put them together, it makes a floral in the middle. Ah. All right, looks good on this side. I don't know if you're on the wheel well. All right, riding low, but we're there. Yeah, that's two of sewing machine. We put that right there back in. Yeah, we did. I'm going to get it Were you? Yeah. That is awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Well, I signed off, but there's one more thing I have to show everybody. <laughs> baby doll parts. Yeah, that, so that, there's a little baby. Uh, a pile of babies in a tray. Just I don't know. That probably won't get me any likes and subscribes, <laughs> but there it is. I mean, I'm putting it out there. Well, we're saying goodbye to this side of the street, epilogue. We've got to cross the street over there. There's a little empty space, but trust me, as soon as you go down that way, it was another mile, right, Leah, of stuff, but. Uh. Anyway. All right, as we drive, I asked Leah to video so she get a small sense of scope. So she'll video out through my dirty windows. Sorry about the grasshoppers in Texas, but you'll have grandpa. You might drop the window down. Yeah. Leo will drop the window down. Well, she'll shoot out the side of the yeah. car. Is he in the weeds? No, he's right there by that fence post. A little road runner. That's the first time I've been able to get him on camera. There he goes. He let me get really close, didn't he? All right. Well, there you go. Lots of wildlife out here. That was a little road runner. Just like beep beep road runner.